I'm hurt. Uh, what? I'm here today. Today. So the books that you will be seeing here, the here. So the first set of books was. <coughs> <coughs> it's like some higher power doesn't want me to speak. <coughs> but when some, I okay, it's fine, it's cool. I'm okay. Hello people, this is Sonali, the Melodramatic Bookworm. If you've been here before, welcome back. And if you're new to my channel, welcome to the Melodramatic Bookworm family. I'm here today with my 2023 birthday book haul. My birthday was in July and got a couple of books and ebooks for that. Like, birthday ke liye to banta hai. But when I say birthday book haul, I mean all the books and all the ebooks that I have bought and got since the last book haul. So this one's going to be a little shorter than my usual book hauls where I have like 80 books, 60 books and all of that. But this is going to have 16 books and ebooks. Why? Because books are expensive. So I have to think 20, 100 times before buying a book here. So the books that you'll be seeing here, the physical copies, all of them are gifts. Uh, half of them are from my husband, half of them are from publishers. And the ebooks that you will be seeing, a couple of them are review copies and the others I bought myself. So without any further ado, let's dive right into this video and let me share with you all the books that I have gotten since the last book haul, but I'm calling it my birthday book haul for 2023. So the first set of books was again a gift set from my husband for our anniversary which was in june there are three books in this first up in the set is imogen obviously by becky albert ali uh, this is the story of imogen who is a fierce ally but she is hetero but when some truths come tumbling out she begins to question everything that she has ever known to be true becky albert ali is such a brilliant writer she puts these truths of lives in such simple manner simple but beautiful and it gets across to you you can't help but absorb all of what she's saying. Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda was one of the first books I read after joining Booktube and really, really, really liked it. And I'm sure that this is also a book that is going to burrow into my heart and stay there. And then there's A Little Life by Hanya Yanagihara. And um, yeah, I want to see what the hype is about and I want to make a reading vlog of this. I know it's going to be a lot of emotions, it's going to probably wreck me or stuff like that. But you know how much I love books that make me emotional, which is why this book is here. So I think I'm going to be like annotating the heck out of this book. I'll be writing in it, etc, etc, etc. Of course, the book back home, I'm going to have to think what to do about it. But it's here. And then there was Yellow Face by R.F. Kuang. And I don't think I have to say anything about this book because you'll be seeing a lot of it in a vlog that will be coming soon. Most likely in early September, I'm hoping. So stay tuned for that. But this is the story of an author stealing another author's work, a dead author's work. And there are a lot of mixed reviews and mixed feelings and thoughts about this book everywhere I see. And I cannot wait to get started on this. I feel like this is going to stress me out. Side-eyeing me already. Sorry? Next is an ebook. The title itself reeled me in when I saw it. And that is Homeless, Growing Up a Lesbian and Dyslexic in India by K. Vaishali. This is K. Vaishali's memoir. And I am really, really looking forward to reading this book, knowing, understanding how it was for her and to educate myself more about it. Next are two review copies, both ebooks. I've read both of them. I've reviewed both of them. So the first book here is A Hearsay by Yashesh Rathod. This is a collection of nonfiction essays. Uh, and in this, the author, he brings together different kinds of thoughts, different kinds of opinions that he puts forward. And the book is, I think, is so titled because these thoughts to some may be hearsay. He has put them forward in a very short book. I think it's 46, 47 pages, something. Thing. and in that much he has brought together some well-intentioned very well written essays i did a full review of this on my blog if you'd like to go check that out link will be in the description box below 
Next is Song of the Trinity, The Rise of Kali by author Vadhan. I feel like I've screamed about this book from the rooftops because of how entertaining it is. This is the story of Kali, the Lord of Kalyu, who has been imprisoned in a special prison that was made by the Holy Trinity. But he is not about to sit silent, is he? Because he is planning his escape with the help of his vassals who are on the outside, who are wrecking chaos so that their master can escape and the universe will have a new ruler. This threat has to be fought and to fight this threat, an unlikely band of people has to come together so that they can prevent what looks like the end of the universe. Will they be able to do that? Will they be able to stop someone as powerful as Kali forms this entire story and it's one of the most entertaining books I've ever read. It's well researched, well executed. Uh, it, it has a wonderful magic system. It's action-packed there's this whole entertaining factor to it that will keep you invested if you'd like to go check my reading vlog and my book review out the links will be in the description box below and i leave one of them up here in the cards next are two books that were gifted to me by my husband for my birthday and uh, one of them i won't show because it's banned in a lot of places but i got a copy so this is it i mean this is it I don't know if you can see try if you can but I leave that at that but the second book is the book binder of Jericho by Pip Williams I don't know anything about this book except that it's about the book binder of Jericho wait okay let me read out the blurb for you in 1914, when the war draws the young men of Britain away to fight, it is the women who must keep the nation running. Two of those women are Peggy and Maud, twin sisters who work in the bindery at Oxford University Press in Jericho. Peggy is intelligent, ambitious and dreams of going to Oxford University, but most of her life she has been told her job is to bind the books, not read them. Maud, meanwhile, wants nothing more than what she has. She is extraordinary but vulnerable. Peggy needs to watch over her. When refugees arrive from the devastated cities of Belgium, it sends ripples through the community and through the sisters' lives. Peggy begins to see the possibility of another future where she can use her intellect and not just her hand but as war and illness reshape her world it is love and the responsibility that comes with it that threaten to hold her back in this beautiful companion to the hold on this is companion to the dictionary of lost words i was just about to say that i had requested the dictionary of lost words from the library and i had it for a while but i didn't get around to reading it and now this is a companion to that, so I've got to do something. Cool. And then there are four ebooks that I got on Kindle, and the first of which is obviously The Book of Everlasting Things by Anchal Malhotra. This is a historical fiction. Uh, it also has a romance, I think, if I'm not mistaken. And it's her debut fiction. She is obviously known for Remnants of a Separation and In the Language of Remembering. But this is something that I have had my eye on for such a long time, but it's not available here. Even if I order it from Amazon, it will have to be imported. So this is why I get so annoyed. <laughs> But I did get an e-copy, I did get a Kindle version of this. Uh, so I'm really, really excited to get started on it. I don't know if I'll make a vlog like I did for Remnants and uh, In the Language of Remembering. But when I get the breathing time, I will at least try to make a video in which I talk about this or in which I recommend this because I'm sure, I'm 100% sure that I'm going to love it, that it is going to be one that I am going to recommend with all my heart. Next is Business of Pleasure by Rachel Lynn Solomon. Uh, this is one of my most anticipated book releases of 2023. I actually read Today, Tonight, Tomorrow. I think it was last year. I can't remember. And I thought that the author writes really beautifully. So when I saw that this was coming, I immediately added to my most anticipated releases list and I bought it. And this is about uh, business and personal life mixing on some level so I'm really interested to see how this author ta takes this story and where she takes it to. Next is Beyond the Gender Binary by Alok Vaid Menon. I did a 36 hour drama queenathon last weekend and I read this during that time. This is a short book but it made me so emotional because of how passionately Alok Vaid Menon talks about society, about sex and gender and about how power sits, how where power sits and how those in power will do anything to keep their prejudices because they work for them instead of seeing that every person is different and every 
every person has their own way of operating every person has their own reality their own truth and that the gender binary is just another construct just another societal construct western societal construct more like and i love this i would highly recommend it if you i, I no i won't say if you this 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 read this 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 i'll just say if you read read this it's very important and the last ebook is independence by chitra banerji devakarani and i loved the palace of illusions but since then i haven't had much luck with her other books but i'm hoping that this is one book that is going to blow me off it's going to sweep me off my feet or something and this is a story told of india's independence from the so perspective of three sisters and this is something that i'm really intrigued to see how she gets going because this is a subject that you need to handle carefully to talk about family and to talk about the country how she will bring both of them together is what made me excited for a chitra banerji devakarani book and then we have three review copies that i got from pan macmillan australia Thank you Pan Macmillan Australia for the gifted copies. I'm so 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 excited to read these. I can't even begin to explain. The first one is Vincent and Cien by Sylvia Kwan. Cien, Vincent and Cien, I think it is. This is the story of Vincent Van Gogh and a woman that he was in a relationship with and he lived together. for a while uh, in 82 83 1882 83 so i'll read out the blurb for you the hague 1882 a howling winter's night cn and her daughter are on the brink of surrendering to the bitter cold their exhaustion their hunger when a good samaritan appears vincent van gogh a struggling artist provides them with warmth and shelter for the night fascinated by cn her face her struggles her life lived vincent offers her work sitting for him from model to muse the two soon become lovers As the connection and intimacy between Vincent and Cien deepen, their relationship draws scathing scrutiny and hostility from the town and those closest to them, threatening to tear them apart. Can their love endure even if it ruins them? Okay. I forgot how savage or how heartless society can be. This is one book that I'm really interested to read because there's so much about Vincent Van Gogh in the way that he is a painter in the way that his relationship with his brother was this that that this but i've never seen this come out to the fore before so this is something that really interests me i'm not someone who is a huge art connoisseur or something but it's been said van go i will be speaking about this in another of my upcoming videos i don't know what it is i still have to conceptualize it but you will see this book soon The second book that Pan Mac sent me was The Vitals. I don't know if you can see it. This is better, no? The Vitals by Tracy Sorensen. And this is uh, Tracy Sorensen's memoir of her battle with cancer, but she is not telling her story. Her vitals, her organs are telling the story. And this is something that caught my eye because I've never heard of organs telling a story, especially in uh, someone who has gone through so much reading you the blurb deep inside tracy's body live the organs of the peritoneal cavity youth a wandering womb rage an existential spleen gaster a gleeful gorger live a workaholic liver but there's also baby an ever growing tumor and baby child's bunny whose cells are multiplying alarmingly together the organs must must fight for homo- homeostasis and tracy's survival oh my god I just told you what it was but reading the blurb it just made me emotional again for some reason. The Vital Sis Tracy Sorensen's cancer memoir transformed by imagination into something far richer and stranger. Oh Tracy. Okay. And the third book of oh. And the third book is a uh, this this. Okay, I have to remember to hold the book to the right. The 20 kilo challenge by Weight Watchers. This has some tips and tricks, some nice vegetarian recipes also, which will help me. I have put on like a bunch of weight. Since so if you look at my video since I started BookTube, and now you are going to see like 20 kilos on me. But I'm really excited to see what lifestyle changes this this will uh, help me change more than anything, which will again translate to. weight loss basically what i'm looking for is to become healthy okay this one i was holding it here the whole time look at the cover now
Thank you, Pan Macmillan Australia, for these gifted copies. I'm really excited to get started on reading them. One of which I think I will be starting today. So, and the last book on this list is one that I was so excited to receive when I, when I got this mail, I was like, me, you're, you're, you're talking to me, and I was like so honored that, okay. I want to like, I think you'll understand from this, but <laughs> okay. So Penguin Random House sent me the 20th anniversary edition of Persepolis by Marjan Satrapi. Persepolis is one of my most favorite, favorite books of all time. This is a graphic novel memoir in which Marjan Satrapi tells us her story of her life in Iran uh, during the Islamic revolution and what happened immediately after that. Like the original is called the story, Persepolis is the story of a childhood and the story of a return. And it is, it says something I have, I'm having like flashbacks to just a few days ago when I actually filmed a video for this. Uh, uh, and I, I now, <laughs> are you serious? Like, look at this. Look. That is insane. Here, please. <laughs> it was delivered today, which is Friday the 11th, one day before you're seeing this video. And I completely lost it when I opened the package. It's hardcover. The first time this book is in hardcover, I think. At least that was that's what the blurb says. <laughs> okay, I've read this book twice. Another reread is pending. I was wondering while I was filming that video, uh, filming that uh, review reel, how I was going to you know read this book because I really suddenly had the urge to read it again. And it just came through. God exists. I didn't say this, but uh, thank you so much, Penguin Random House, for this gifted copy. Uh, it means the world to me. It's one of the best birthday gifts ever. Thank you so much for this. Okay, let's do this. Okay, so those. Plus all the ebooks that I mentioned in the video were all the books that I have for this book haul for my birthday book haul 2023. So what did you think of this video? Did you like it? Did you not like it? Which of these books have you read? Which ones do you want to read? Which books do you think I should prioritize? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. Also, a quick reminder, a couple of these books will be getting reading vlogs, you, which you will see in the next couple of months, hopefully, and a couple others in some other videos. If you like this video, please like it and share it to spread the word. And if you like my content and would like to see more from me, don't forget to hit subscribe and click on the bell icon beside the subscribe button to get notified as and when I post new videos. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Until next time, keep reading, keep watching and add melodrama to your life.